Hey, and welcome to the e-learning video series on BSF Biowaste Processing. This module in the BSF Rewing chapter will focus on the hatchling stage. After watching this module, you'll be able to describe the process parameters of this stage. You'll be able to apply the separation of the residue from the five-day-old larvae in the nursery crates. You'll be able to measure and calculate the amount of five dole that you have harvested, and you'll be able to execute preparing and portioning the five dole in preparation for uh, waste treatment or uh, nursery. Lastly, you'll be able to recognize the need for certain data and apply the procedures for the data collection of this stage. So as mentioned, the hatchling stage starts when the neonates emerge from the eggs and fall into the substrate where they will feed on for the coming five days. The step will end after we have removed the five day old larvae or five doll from the residue and enumerated them as well as prepared them for the treatment units where they will feed on waste. The substrate that the larvae feed on in the nursery for the first five days is a highly nutritious substrate to give them a, a boost in their first few days as a larva. The aim of this is to make sure that the larvae reach a certain size at a certain day so that they can be visually identified from each other and manually counted. We use chicken feed as a substrate because it has a protein content of around 23% which gives this boost to the larval growth. Another important reason why we use chicken feed is to be able to predict larval growth over a certain amount of time, which always remains constant because the substrate always has the same nutrient content as with, with chicken feed. So when the eggs hatch and the neonates fall out, around 70% of the total number of eggs that were hung over the nursery crates eventually evolve into five-day-old larvae or five old so whether the eggs do not all hatch, or maybe whether some of the larvae might have died in the first days, days of their life, uh, it is un as it until now uh, unknown to us because uh, we, we, have no, we have no idea whether they are dying as, as eggs, so they are not hatching, or um, in their first five days of, of feeding as, uh, as larvae. But what we do see is that the survival rate is quite high when compared to other sites. So we assume that, that this, this percentage, this 70%, is a, is, a, is a reasonable rate of survival. So as mentioned, the larvae, larvae stay about five days in the substrate, which makes them then five-day-old larvae. The boosted growth will start just after they have emerged as so-called neonates and stop when they have, they have reached the five-day-old age, at the time when we are counting them. Just before we will count them, the five day, just before we will count the five day old larvae, we will have about 73 larvae per cubic centimeter in the residue, and they will weigh between one and three milligrams per, for, per five day old larva. So we will be soon looking at the operational steps of this uh, process. For, for this uh, stage, the hatchling stage, the following materials are required. First of all, we have a sieve where we, where we can separate the residue from uh, five-day-old larvae. Then we have a dosing cup. We have a residue collection crate, which is basically the same crate as a nursery box. But we need one extra to be able to uh, uh, collect the residue, but also to collect the larvae that we have counted and to be able to uh, separate the different streams. We, we, we move around all these larvae using a mixing and dosing spoon. And the uh, precision balance helps us to weigh the different fractions that we need in, in, uh, in enumerating the larvae. Counting the larvae themselves, for that we use uh, a counting plate, which is a simple uh, um, uh, eating plate. And we use a counting and picking tool, which is, which is a tweezer, so that we can, we, can, we can use that to scrape the larvae of the, of the plate. But we can also use it to, to, to take the individual larvae or to take residue particles. Now, with the click counter, we used to, to count the, the limadol, so it's easy to keep track of how many you have. And the transfer cup, as well as the transfer cup rack, are used to portion the larvae in preparation for either the waste treatment or to be uh, fed, uh, fed into nursery laveros again to grow out as pre -pupi. So this operation starts by removing the oldest hatchling container from the shower rack. If you have multiple containers, first mix them together before using a manual sieve to separate all the residue from the larvae. 
small residue will mostly fall through and sometimes there are some small larvae that fall with it. Most of the larvae will stay on top of the sieve with the larger residue particles. This fraction is placed into a plastic box and from this box the larger residual particles can be scooped off with a spoon. This can be done until lumps of five-day-old larvae uh, are clearly visible. Take a random scoop from the purified five-day-old larvae and measure two times two grams of the mixture into two cups. Place these two uh, mixture, these two samples of five-day-old larvae onto a plate. On this plate, you then manually count the five-day-old larvae using tweezers and a click counter by pushing them into a bowl. Repeat the process for the second cup as well and document the result as number of five-day-old larvae per two grams. Weigh then the total mass of all five-day-old larvae available in the box using the results of the count per two grams and calculate the, number, the total number of larvae available in the, in the box by the calculation that now appears on the screen. So it's the total number of larvae in a box is the uh, total mass of larvae in that box multiplied by uh, the number of larvae in the sample divided by the mass of that sample. Based on the number of laveros to be started, which will depend on the, uh, on the amount of waste that you want to treat, prepare cups and fill each cup with the weight of five-day-old larvae from the box as needed for each lavero. So we have now passed uh, the operational video and now we are coming back to the checklist where we'll be looking at the operation that we have just passed through in the video. The first item on the checklist is removing the five-day-old nursery box, which in our case were three boxes per day. So we took out these boxes and mixed them together into one box. And after we, after we finished uh, uh, counting and, and emptying all the boxes, we cleaned them. We, for the boxes that contained all the larvae and residue, we, we sieved then all the material and we took two times two grams of five-day-old larvae and counted the number of five-day-old larvae in each of the two samples. We then extrapolated the amount of five-day-old larvae in the, two, in the two grams to the total number of five-day-old larvae in the three boxes that we mixed together at the start of the enumeration process. We can then further portion the larvae and prepare them for the, for the waste treatment. During the enumeration process of the five-day-old larvae, there are a couple of values that you have to note down in order to be able to track the, the size of the larvae that you, that, you, that you take from the nursery boxes and to see how many larvae you have, uh, how many five-day-old larvae you have harvested uh, on every day to be able to keep track of, of what the performance is and to, 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 to combine that with the number of eggs that were placed uh, over over the nursery boxes where you harvest the larvae from uh, before the start of the of the process. First of all, you have to note down the date of the nursery boxes of which you have placed uh, the, the content of in the boxes together. Then you note down the number of five-day-old larvae that you have counted in the two samples of two grams. From the two samples, you note down the average of the five-day-old larvae that you have counted. And then you note down the total mass of the five-day-old larvae that you found in the nursery boxes and the number of five-year-old larvae that you have then calculated from that mass using the enumeration pro uh, procedure. We are nearing the end of this, uh, of this module on the hatchling stage. Here are two questions for you. First of all, what, what does DOL stands for in 5DOL? It stands for day-old larvae. Second question. Why do we enumerate the five doll after removing them from the nursery crates? It is because we have to portion them to match nutritional value of the waste they will be feeding on. We've already come to the end of this module on the hatchling stage. We've learned that the hatchling stage in the BSF life cycle comes before the larval growth stage and after the egg stage. You've learned that the hatchlings in this stage grow on a substrate until they are five day old and they are then harvested from the nursery crates. You've also learned that the data on the transformation rate of the eggs into five day old larvae is collected to support the performance indicator points. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF bio waste processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part 
of the Forward Project by EWAC in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.